Joining the dispatch today is Call of Duty professional player for the Dallas franchise, Illy. Illy, how does it feel to finally hear those words, Call of Duty professional player? Honestly, it feels fantastic just because I've been waiting for so like so many years to be able to compete and finally be like a pro. You have the age limit and it feels fantastic to finally be 18 and be a pro. Exactly, man. Well, how has this offseason been for you, right? And directly, obviously, there's a lot of hype kind of coming into this year more specifically, as you mentioned, turning the age of 18. But was this offseason stressful for you at all? Or was it somewhat set in stone where you kind of had your, your mindset on? Was it kind of set in stone where you were going? Uh, to be honest, it was kind of stressful because, like, me and Hugh, like, like we always wanted a team. Like, basically, I hit him up in the start, and, like, we were, like, a team of two. And we were trying to find people and, like, there were just like so many different possibilities. It was like very stressful at a point, but like whenever like we got this roster together, like I was just like, I was just stress-free for like the past like two weeks. <laughs> I can imagine. There's a lot of guys out there who are just, you know, super stress-ridden. It's good to see that, uh, you know, at least for a little bit, you haven't really had a whole lot on the mind, but let's go and talk about it a little bit, right? Because a lot of people in the off season have kind of associated yourself and Shotzi together throughout the off season. Did you guys let each other know that you wanted to join a team or did it just happen to, to fall that way? Honestly, me and like Shotzi like talked about teaming before because like, I obviously think the guys like one of the most talented like players ever, like no matter what, like gaming plays like FPS wise. And I always want to team with them and he was on a team with me. And then it just like worked out because uh, Hugh wanted to team with them back in Halo. Like, whenever they played Halo, Hugh always wanted to team with them. And I, they, they didn't think they'd be teaming in COD, but, like, Hugh was 100% down to team with them. And it's our team, like, like our team is just, like, perfect, to be honest. Like, it just, like, fell, fell through. Like, we like we weren't, like, like set going into, like, the offseason saying, yeah, we're going to be teaming. It just, like, happened. Right. Well, talk to me a little bit more about Shotzi, right? Obviously, as you mentioned, coming from Halo, a lot of eyes are going to be on him. But obviously, you know a ton about him and playing in a number of different online tournaments. What are some things fans are going to learn quickly about Shotzi? Uh, they're definitely going to learn. He is he is one of the best mechanically mechanical players there is. Just like anything he does, like he just masters it. And his ability to adapt is very, very well as well. Like He's very smart in-game. He whatever no matter how the game is like it, no matter if the MW pace like of the game is slow fast like he'll adapt really really quick like no matter how it is so no it's, so no matter what the game is it's just like uh, he'll adapt and he'll be really really good right absolutely let's talk about your history a little bit because I remember hearing your name I think it was around the end of Black Ops Three start of Infinite Warfare when did you officially really kind of start to compete online. When I started to compete online, I've been playing, so basically I've been playing like GBs with my cousin since like MW2, like since I was a little kid, but like I really, like I really started taking it serious and like started like coming up and like competing seriously and in the middle of Black Ops 3 is when I was like grinding S&D and, and uh, Nick Merckx gave me like a chance to play with him when he was like a big COD streamer and ever since that like people just seen like I was actually nasty and I just like started like blowing up and getting a lot of followers. Now, obviously, this this winning process for you has been long, right? And when I first interviewed Simp, when he joined United about how the wait was, his words exactly were, it was hard, I was good, and I knew that I had the talent, but the waiting process was the worst thing because it was incredibly stressful to know that I could have a chance to be in the league, but I just was not old enough. How has the waiting period really been like you know, for you? Obviously, in the Dallas video, you talked about it, but kind of in more detail, do you share kind of the same feeling that Simp had, that it was really stressful oh yeah 100 percent. i feel the same exact way chris did just because we know like since like bo3 that we we were able to compete at the top level but we were just held back from like the age age rule same way basically how huke felt as well like whenever he had to switch over to halo he knew he could he could be a top player and win championships but like he was just held back it was very frustrating to be honest now i want to talk to you a little bit more about your team right because it's going to be great to see you working not just alongside Shotzi, but also Hook. What are you most excited about with this young trio? Obviously, you guys want to play alongside each other. Obviously, Hook was kind of the glue for that one to play with you, one to play alongside Shotzi. But what really most excites you about you three being together? Uh, honestly, just like the amount of talent we have on that team. Just us three, like no matter if the game is three subs or if it's like two subs, like no matter how the game is, like 
I feel like we have a really slay heavy team and we have experience behind that so basically honestly just a trio like i'm liking it a lot we have a lot of slaying power behind us and a lot of talent and it's just like a perfect mix of everything sure now like i said not only do you have young talent you've also got veteran leadership as well we talked about you know multiple world championships in you know your rookie season how valuable is it to have that that kind of veteran presence on this team oh i think it's the most important thing because, like I said, like, the trio that we have, me, Hugh, and Shasi, like, we, me and uh, Shasi are just two, like, we're rookies. Like, we obviously have the talent and, like, the skill. But to have experienced players behind us and with us is very, very, very helpful just to make, they, they teach us a lot of things that we need to know. And it's just very good to have experienced players behind the young talent, teach us the ways. Sure. And, and speaking of young talent, what's kind of your opinion on why – you know, the young talent is starting to really kind of take over because previously it was all about how players are, you know, considered to be online warriors. You don't want to invest in them. You have to really kind of wait and see what they can really do before you want to try and add them to the team. And then with maybe a, a year of that same mentality, we've seen organizations like Optic, FaZe, E United, Reciprocity, the list goes on, start to build teams around young guys. Why do you think teams have started to focus on that more and more as of late? I see. I feel it's just like, it's not like it's kind of rare to like, you know, like have that much young talent. Like, for example, like Optic. Like whenever they picked up Dashy, like Dashy was discussing like he was a young talent. Like uh, Sal got picked up to phase right away, and he turned out really, really good. Same with Sam. But just, just like basically like the circle that we came from, like young, t young talent wise, they're just like a lot of young talent players, and they have a lot of slaying power, and they bring a lot to a team. And if you have experienced players behind that, for example, with Optic, like Scum. Krim, uh, Karma, like behind Dashy, like they have the young talent experience. So whenever they got the talent, it's just very helpful because it brought a lot of slaying power and a lot of like just made it easier for the team. To be honest, sure. sure. Now tell me, do the EU cadets still keep in touch? Oh yeah, hundred percent. We always like talk to each other all the time. We like what? Not all the time, but like we talked. We talked to each other. We talked to each other a bit and just say like that's crazy. Like how we've all like come like this far absolutely did uh did they help you at all in your kind of off season did they give you any advice or was it you know kind of you just mending your way and they were kind of there to congratulate you at the end uh i was getting some advice from uh if you know burns burns is very, burns has been very helpful like for the past years he's always been giving me advice and just telling me a lot about like the industry like stuff i don't know because i was still like young he's been helping me a lot now tell me, in your opinion, what's the what's the best Call of Duty of all time? Gotta be Black Ops Three, bro. Like I'm, I might get a lot of hate for this, but it gotta be Black Ops Three. I literally love that game. What is that? It's just like, like, like you could be so mechanically gifted, like you, like you could literally abuse the movement to to the max. And I just mastered the movement, and like I would be from one side of the map to another side of the map within seconds, and. I don't know. I just loved how the game felt. I loved the mechanics. I loved the movement. I just loved everything about the game, to be honest. Now, who, in your opinion, was the most underrated player in the CWL last season? Um, last season, probably, I would say, I would say Prisa before, but like, and then everyone realized like Prisa was nasty, like. Honestly, it got to be, it, even though BZ gets recognition, like, I don't know, like, a BZ, like, I, I think it got to be a BZ, just because, like, even though, like, people, like, know he's nasty, but, like, people don't really know how nasty he actually is, like, like, he was, the, he was, like, the best entry, like, last year, and, like, it's, to be an entry, that's, like, the hardest job, to be honest, and, like, having that good of an entry, like, is literally insane, honestly, like, even though BZ got a lot of recognitions for being really good, like, people don't really know how hard his role was and like how good he actually actually was like i think he was insane right now we don't know exactly how modern warfare is going to play but let's say there is an entry a dedicated entry role uh in modern warfare out of you know you kind of core three we talk about the younger guys who do you think would be the entry would it would it be shotzi guaranteed honestly you see that's the thing about our team i think i think all three of us could be the entry role but the thing is we're just gonna have to see how how, how it plays out honestly Hugh and shotzi and me like we're all capable of being really, really good entries, and we're just going to have to see how the game plays out. And we're going to have to just see, like, time will tell, like, 
all three of us are capable of being entries and honestly i think it'll probably be like i think it'll, uh probably be uh shotzi to be honest or huke because like they just like they're just really really fast paced and they have a lot of talent like crazy sure now, obviously, you do come from Canada and obviously represent that well. Tell me, in your opinion, who is the best COD player to come from Canada? Uh, so far, yeah. I mean, it, I mean, it got to be Damon just because Damon is like right. the goat. Guy has three rings. It's it's hard to it's hard to compete against that because I was gonna say like a lot of people don't really realize the skill that really does come from Canada, especially recently. We talk about, obviously, Karma, Dashy, Gunless. People forget about Rambo, uh, Asim as well, of course, yourself. There's, there's a lot of guys who I think that, uh, you know, maybe kind of get swept under the rug, and people don't really think about the presence that Canada has kind of brought to the Call of Duty esports space. And I think, uh, you know, yourself being added onto that uh, is, is going to be a nice kind of rounding out to the list. I think you'll definitely be up there within the next few seasons, that's for sure. But, uh, Illy, thanks so much for coming on and joining us today. We wish you the best of luck, and we cannot wait to see exactly what you do. Also, happy early birthday, by the way. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you very much. Absolutely. Well, that's Illy, Call of Duty professional player for the Dallas franchise.